Who deserves the Ballon d'Or 2023? Throughout the season, Erling Haaland scored 53 goals, while Lionel Messi scored 37 goals, Erling Haaland provided 9 assists, while Lionel Messi provided 25 assists. So Erling Haaland recorded a GA of 62, while Lionel Messi recorded a GA of 62 as well. Let us break down their goals a little bit further. Erling Haaland was involved in 41% of all Manchester City goals, while Lionel Messi was involved in 34% of all goals scored by PSG. Erling Haaland was involved in 50% of the goals scored by his national team, while Lionel Messi was involved in 60% of the goals that were scored by his national team. Erling Haaland scored 8 penalties, while Lionel Messi scored 5 penalties. Erling Haaland scored 2 goals outside the box, while Lionel Messi scored 11 goals outside the box. Erling Haaland scored 0 free kicks, while Lionel Messi scored 4 free kicks. Okay, let us now compare the goals that they scored in tight matches. Erling Haaland scored 10 goals in the knockouts, while Lionel Messi scored 6 goals in knockouts. Erling Haaland provided 1 assist in knockouts, while Lionel Messi provided 2 assists in knockouts. Erling Haaland scored 0 goals in the finals, while Lionel Messi scored 3 goals in finals. Okay, let us now compare their performance in the international tournament. Erling Haaland's national team did not participate in the World Cup, while Lionel Messi won the 2022 FIFA World Cup with Argentina. He scored 7 goals and provided 3 assists and recorded a GA of 10. He won the FIFA World Cup Golden Ball in the process. Okay, let us now compare the major individual awards that they received. Erling Haaland received six major individual awards, that is the Premier League Golden Boot, Premier League Player of the Season, the Premier League Young Player of the Season, the UEFA Champions League Golden Boot, the European Golden Shoe, and FWA Footballer of the Year Award. While Lionel Messi won five major awards, that is World Cup Golden Ball, the World Cup Silver Boot, FIFA Best Player, IWFHS World Best Player and IWFHS World Best Playmaker. Okay, let us now compare the trophies that they won. Erling Haaland won three trophies, that is the UEFA Champions League, the Premier League and the FA Cup. While Lionel Messi won three trophies as well, that is World Cup 22, the French League 1 and the French Super Cup. Okay, let us now compare some of the records that they broke and set. Erling Haaland became the player with the most goals in a single Premier League season with 36. He became the fastest player to score 30 Champions League goals. He became the first Premier League player to score 20 goals before January. He also became the first Premier League player to score hat-tricks in three successive home games. Lionel Messi became the player with the most appearances in the history of the FIFA World Cup. He also became the player with the most goal contributions at the World Cup. He became the only player to provide at least one assist in five different FIFA World Cups. And he also became the first player to score in all five rounds of the FIFA World Cup. Okay, let us now compare the other statistics. Erling Haaland made 51 dribbles, while Messi made 149. Erling Haaland provided 41 big chances, while Lionel Messi provided 137. Erling Haaland recorded an XG of 42.2 goals while Messi recorded 24.8 goals. Let us now compare their performance in each individual competition and let us start with their league performance. Erling Haaland played 35 games in the league while Lionel Messi played 32 games. Haaland scored 36 goals while Lionel Messi scored 16 goals. Erling Haaland provided 8 assists, while Lionel Messi provided 16 assists. So Erling Haaland recorded 1.26 goal contributions per game in the league, while Lionel Messi recorded 1.00 goal contributions per game in the league. Okay, let us move on and compare their performance in the UEFA Champions League. Erling Haaland played 11 Champions League games, while Lionel Messi played 7 Champions League games. Erling Haaland scored 12 goals, 
while Lionel Messi scored four goals, Erling Haaland provided one assist, while Lionel Messi provided four assists. So Erling Haaland recorded 1.18 goal contributions per game in the Champions League, while Lionel Messi recorded 1.14 goal contributions per game in the Champions League. Okay, let us now compare their performance for their national team throughout the season. Erling Haaland played two games, while Lionel Messi played 12 games, including the World Cup. Erling Haaland scored one goal, while Lionel Messi scored 16 goals. Erling Haaland provided zero assists, while Lionel Messi provided five assists. So Erling Haaland recorded 0 0.50 goal contributions per game, while Lionel Messi recorded 1.75 goal contributions per game. Okay, let us finally compare the total stats for both club and country in all competitions. Throughout the season, Erling Haaland played 54 games, while Lionel Messi played 53 games. Erling Haaland scored 53 goals, while Lionel Messi scored 37 goals. Erling Haaland provided 9 assists, while Lionel Messi provided 25 assists. So Erling Haaland recorded 0.98 goals per game, while Lionel Messi recorded 0.70 goals per game. Erling Haaland recorded 1.15 goal contributions per game, while Lionel Messi recorded 1.17 goal contributions per game. Alright guys, there you have it. Who do you think deserves the Ballon d'Or 2023? Let's